they want to get Victor into a long lane, just like he was with Jace. Urgot appreciates the backup. Yeah, Glyph comes in and very aggressively places Jelly down. Not going to move on up as Hero's entrance is available. And he's going to throw it in. Immediately coming down, Snap, not all at all. He's trying here. Spake is going to invest the ult because they know there's just no response. Jelly moving on through, and they've just got more people here. Snowflower wanting to find the flank, and can KT actually get underneath this turret is the question. As the base check comes through, Snowflower does try to send this one up. We'll get the trample. Frog has beaten. He flashes to get the ultimate and will grab the first kill for KT onto the Callista and Zenit. Already takes a whole bunch of turret plates on the bottom side of the map. In the meantime, though, Shelly gets to work getting rid of this inner turret combo. And again, you need to remember one important fact because it looks like KT got the answering kill and you say, oh, solid turret plates on a Sivir. That's on uh, SKT's side, whereas it was 5, 1, and 0. So SKT with the plate lead is now we're trying to find a fight on the bottom side of the map. Snowflower wanting to get this trample in there. Is most likely going to do so, and it lands onto Khan. Snowflower grabs that kill as well. Kick back onto Zenith, but he's going to survive for the moment as Faker gets his ultimate stolen away. He's going to be used against SKT here as well. There's the flash forward. Huge pulverize and headbutt back there from Snowflower. He dies, but he's done his job, and Marta's going to get traded. KT, a team fighting. That Drake there, not happy that it's a mountain. Timing out is that BDD ult, you'll notice. Yeah, Circle of Frost is going to be there as the Frozen Tomb lands onto Umpty. They are going to be able to get this Jarvan, but can they get more is the question. BDD ducting his way out and is going to be okay for the moment. That is a free kill under the jungler and just a really nice teleport play coming in from SKT. Just no other map objective for KT to start. Smeb's TP down. There should not be two people overextended there. So a straight up mistake by Umpty and BDD for being so far up. And a 20 minute Baron started, Smite is there. It will Mountain, be available yeah. soon and we know about the rend. KT needs to get a ward on it fast. Mountain Drake available here as well for SKT, but is this even going to get turned off? Because they can make this a 50-50 very effectively as Zenit trying to throw in these uh, ricochets. The Baron does go down, but can KT actually find the fight? BDD trying to find his way in. Cow is gonna go down and SKT. Baron buffs, so the Baron buff has insane value here. Of course, at 20 minutes, the stats aren't big, but the Baron buff effect on the minions is insane. They're looking for the catch on Umpty. Yep, he is going to dive on forward, but no, immediately taken down extraordinarily low into the stopwatch. Should be okay for the moment, but Zenit finishes him off. Now the Fates Call is BDD. Dives on forward, trying to get the abscond down. There's the double knock up as Snowflower survives for so damn long. And SKT are taken down. Teddy able to get out Khan as well. A lot of things as Faker's ultimate is going to be a big one. Headbutt Polv lands onto Marta. They want to try and get him away from this one as he uses the Fates Call. Gets back around though. Kick back onto Umpty. He's in trouble and there's no way for KT to respond. So that is just a free pick off onto the jungler of KT Rolster. So misread on the map position there. No one to play around Umpty. No flash, no chance. He goes down. They're looking for a flank. Hex flash over the wall. Yeah. BDD does have a kickback opportunity. Is Yeah, they're just going to get a free one onto the Galio. It's... Snowfire walks up, but with to a pretty de big degree of risk. Yep, Claw comes in, Faker slows down Snowflower. It's a kickback still onto BDD, does use it, throws it into the Callista, but she is gonna be okay. You need to lock her down, and it's not happening this time. Fear beyond death, cuts him up into mincemeat. Life of Baron is uh, not gonna be around for very long. It's Marta, Hero's entrance is now available here for BDD. Um, can dive on forward. We will be able to get a knock up as Clid flashes over, flashes out again as Umpty trying to get in there. Baker with the ultimate down should guarantee this one as Khan gets the kill under the cow. Baron goes down, SKT, have some cake, eat it too, have some more as this is a disgusting battle in favor of SKT. We're looking towards a 2-0 telecom war as KT just fall apart. You're still living in SKT's world at 27 minutes. No server is going to be enough for this game. She stands up. Nice spell shield spell from Zenith. really nice, but he doesn't have another one. He does have a QSS, though, so he will be able to get out of the way as Faker has to use his Zonyas to stop the turret from killing him. Doesn't die fast enough as there's the back, and Cleared is going to stop it. Bottom side of the map as Kingslayer actually helping out there as this battle is continuing picture in picture. Zenit not going to survive for much longer, though, and Marta, he's not going to die to the turret either. This battle is ridiculously long as BDD versus Cleared seems to be the story, and Cleared says, I had your number game one, I got it game two. Seems like Cleared's just destined to be a match winner. They're trying to stop the end. Yeah, Umpty going to go golden. Snowflower underneath the turret, but doesn't have a lot of damage. Can't get rid of minions. 
and Teddy wants to get rid of lives on the side of KT. Smeb comes in, he can. Yep. So Snowflower looking for his opportunity. SKT just probably not wanting to stack on top of each other because they know that elsewhere the damage is being done. There's the headbutt pole to land onto Clid. Flashes forward there from Omti. He's down to his Guardian Angel and the kickback is on Snowflower with an ultimate, but Faker dives into the backline. Zenit, does he have enough? The spell shields are going to be utilized. Oh. Massive knock up with the Fate Skull to pulverize to land on top. And Zenit is still alive. It's a triple for Faker though as Marta wants to find more. Smeb's going to go down. Is that the Penta? No, it's stolen from Marta. As Faker will be the man to finish off SKT and 2-0 the Telecom War. A Faker Quadra kill to close the Telecom War. SKT, damn do they have to fight for it. But 30 minutes in, 2-0. The scoreline does not do it fully justice. An awesome series, a fun one.